Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all the viewers of wisdomjobs.com. In this video, I am going to explain one question which might be probable in one of the competitive examinations like CHSL, CGL or NTPC and RRB. So please watch this video and express your queries and doubts in the form of comments at the comment box provided at the bottom of the video. So please do subscribe to our channel wisdomjobs.com because we are going to give you many more questions in the form of video and they are useful for you and please like and share these videos to your friends so that they also will be benefited by these videos and apart from that this will be a sort of encouragement for us to do more and more videos on these particular topics the question for this video is the elements in which the electrons are progressively filled in 4f orbitals are called the option a lanthanides option b actinoids option c noble metals and option D, Chakujans. Now let me read the in Hindi version of it. Jin tatvom mein electronon ka uttarotar 4f orbital mein bhara jata hai, unhe kaha jata hai dash. To usko kya bolenge hum? Now, option A, lanthanoids. Option B, actinoids. Option C, noble dhatu. Option C, kalkojan. Okay. Now, let me explain you the of, uh, what are lanthanoids, actinoids, noble metals, uh, metals and charcogens. Now, what are lanthanoids actually, if you observe, uh, if the elements which are forming after atomic number 57, Jobi dhatu, Jobi elements, 57 atomic number se baad aega, usko bolenge hum lanthanoids. Now, if you talk about xenon, up to xenon, you have you don't have 4f orbital. Okay, so iska example cesium cesium kya kya hai atomic number 55 hoga. So 55 ka tham kaisa lik sakte isko xenon core 6s1 xenon core 6s1. Abhi dekho barium ka kya hal hai? Barium is 57. Uh, I mean 56 atomic number. So it is xenon core 6s2 xenon core 6s2. Now coming to lanthanum, it is 57. So if you observe here, uh, xenon core, yes, here 6s2 and 4f1. So after 6 comes 4 uh, orbital. Okay. Now why 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 4 only comes sh should come here? If you observe uh, n plus uh, n plus l value of 6s is how much? It is 6 plus 1, 6 plus 0, which is 6. And coming to 4f, uh, it is uh, say if 6 plus, I mean uh, for 4 plus 3 which is 7. So after 6, next is the next higher value is your 4f orbital. Next coming to cerium. So next element is what? Cerium is 58, atomic number is 58. So it is xenon core 6s2 and 4s2, sorry 4f2, 4f2. Like that if you go for the remaining uh, elements in the lanthanide series starting from cerium to lutetium, we can uh, go from 4f2 to uh, maybe 4f14. Okay, so in this way, the 4f orbital is filled in C, C, in between cerium to lutetium, which form the lanthanide series. So lanthanides are the examples of those elements in which a 4f orbital has been filled. So this means what 4f orbitals which are filled in the cerium, ke baad jo bhi element hoga, usme se leke lutetium tak wo 4f orbital bhar jata hai. So what means what happens in the 4f series? What will we call the elements of the 4f series? Lanthanides. Now we will see the rest of the options ko dekhenge ek bar gaur karenge ek bar to actinoids actinoids matlab kya hai after the, any element after actinium so actinium atomic number is 89 okay actinium atom, atom number is 89 so here uh, we have, we have got a noble gas at 86 uh, 86 86 uh, atomic number okay so if you take if you take that uh, you, here you will be having six uh, the ultimate uh, the ultimate uh, electronic configuration would be 7s2 and 5f1 so at coming to next element is thorium so thorium is 90 so it is 7s2 and 5f2 so in this way the 5f orbitals are been filled in the actinide series so actinoids are not not uh, filled by 4f orbitals they are filled by 5f orbitals so obviously the actinoids are, is a wrong answer 
ओके नेक्स्ट कमिंग टू नोबल मेटल्स वॉट आर नोबल मेटल्स एनी एनी अनरिएक्टिव मेटल इज कॉल्ड एज ए नोबल मेटल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ टेक गोल्ड और सिल्वर or osmium like that we have got some eight to nine noble metals in the periodic table which are very very less reactive rhenium platinum etc so those elements have got different configurations for example if you take silver silver is having a atomic number of 47 so if you take gold gold has got an atomic number of 79 so we definitely the the 4f series will not need not be 4f orbital need not be filled by all the noble noble metals so noble metals also is a wrong option coming to charcoals charcoals what are charcoals actually the uh, metal the sixth group elements are charcoals that is oxygen sulfur okay so after the oxygen and sulfur up to polonium okay so these are the sixth group elements are your uh, the sixth period elements are your charcoals okay so starting from oxygen to polonium right so uh, these uh, elements Are called as charcoals. Now, if you observe oxygen's uh, atomic con electronic configuration, what is it? Uh, it is one s two, two s two, and two p four. So, it, there is no chance of four of filling filling here, is it not? So, for two p four is the filled by oxygen. If you take sulfur, it is three p four. Like that, three p orbitals are filled in charcoals, but not four f orbitals. So obviously, charcoals are also a wrong option. So charcoals is wrong. So the correct option is what? Lanthanides. So lanthanide in lanthanides, four f orbitals are filled by the differentiating electron or the valence electron. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have got any queries, please express them in the form of the queries or doubts in the comment box that is provided at the bottom of the video. And as and when we find time, we are going to get back to you and try to solve your queries or doubts. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.